Hey, what's up, guys? So this is the the second part of the video. Um, this is where you're gonna go ahead and flash your firmware. So basically, if you use an A net, you probably need Skynet, or if you can access the firmware somehow and get to this value, which is um, travel limits after homing. Um, so this is my settings I have currently for 3D printing, and so almost all. 3D printers are going to have your Z min position at zero. Um, so basically all that means is that you're not going to be able to go past that zero. Like I was talking about in the last video. So this is what you need to change. Um, so I'm going to change mine to let's say negative 15. And that just means I'll be able to cut down 15 millimeters from zero. Um, if you look, the reason why I put that value so low is because even an eighth inch cutter, I mean, I guess the, the most I would I would recommend is maybe 20, but yeah, they're not really meant to cut down uh, too far, because this has to go into the chuck too. So, um, so yeah, that's the first one, so now you're able to go into the negative. Um, I've already done it on this one, so you can see, see look I'm minus negative one, so I've already flashed this so I'm able to uh, go into the va negative value, but basically uh, yeah, this is for people who are already familiar with firmware and stuff, if you trying to just get Skynet up in the first place, there's a lot of other videos I would recommend to watch first before you do this, um, but yeah. This is basically how you do it. I'm gonna upload it right now. Um, well actually, no, I don't need to. I already flashed mine. But basically, yeah, this is the other two things you need to uh, change. So, say on the Y, you want to cut a piece that's 50 millimeters. You're gonna have to make make this at least 60. Okay, and the same thing for the X. Okay, well, now basically that means that you'll be able to cut 60 millimeters on the X, 60 millimeters on the Y. So, you know, you can change it accordingly. If you know you're going to be cutting bigger stuff, then, you know, change it to 100 if you want to cut something that's 90 millimeters, you know. But basically, yeah, I already flashed this, so I'm set. I'm set. But, um,. What I would do is when I when you get into the system, um, go to prepare, move axis, Z. I've already done this, but I'm just checking to. After you flash it, you can just check it and see. It's going into negative. Okay? So believe me, if you don't do this, you're not going to be able to get into negative. So yeah, that's the main, that's really the only thing holding you back from doing, uh, getting to those negative values. Minus the end stop. The end stop's not going to let you go past the, the bed, but, um, there's, you know, I wouldn't, I would just recommend doing it this way, it's safer. Uh, unless you know how to do like reverse coding and you can get your G code to start at positive 10 and then go all the way down. Like, I know how to do that, but it's not going to work with the way this whole setup works. Because basically, I'm going to show it in the next video. But the reset button is what zeroes everything out. So, let me show you real quick Here we go move okay, let's see where. okay so look if you look right now say say this is where you want it to be zeroed obviously it wouldn't be but um if you hit the reset button, I just pressed it. 
you'll notice it all zeroed out. So basically, yeah, part three, I'm going to show you how to start cutting stuff. So stay tuned. Thank you.